What's up everyone, it's M. Birchie, now we're back at this very same kitchen and you know what time it is, it's time to make ham and cheese toasty. There's a ham and cheese toasty maker, as we called it last time. But that, of course, is not the only method. So we've got the ham and cheese there, of course. Now, this is a little bit naughty, you might say. So what you do is you get the cheese, unwrap it, and also get the ham. This is a bit too good to be true. So now, as we can see there, we've got a rare specimen ham and some cheese boys so let's put it into the microwave we're going to put it for about 15 seconds actually now we'll up it a bit we'll say 20 seconds so as you can see the ham is in there oh it's going in oh my god it's going on the absolute mad one don't get alarmed it's not going to explode but it makes some pretty naughty noises to say the least so there you go guys it's hit zero it's time to take out the ham and the cheese, which we put on the plate. <laughs> it is steaming hot. It's like Back to the Future when they come out of the car or whatever. I don't know. Fair play to them. All right. So whip it out, as you can see. Hang on. Now, say another... We'll say another... Oh, what are we going to say? Another 10 seconds on the ticker. A couple more noises have got to be coming from there. It is pretty scary. I'm not going to lie. First time I heard that noise, I was thinking, hang on a minute, is it going to explode? No, it's not. So, there we go. It's just come out yet again. It's looking a bit too good to be true. So, we've got the ham and the cheese. So, here we go, guys. I won't lie. I won't lie. I'm on red charge, so I have to be quick. Please. Right, we've got the Warburton bread. We put it in the toaster. I'm not talking about the toasty maker. I'm talking about the toaster. Two sets. Right, this thing is sitting pretty. Ooh, that cheese and ham might be getting a little bit cold. This is the thing. You meant to do it around the same time, and I keep forgetting that. Every single time, man. Alright. We're putting the ham and cheese in for another 10 seconds. This thing's probably actually going to blow up. If it does, then uh, this recording will be lost, and I'll be dead. So, that's a bit rough. So, we've got the toast... Well, the bread toasting in the toaster. We've also got a ham and cheese, which just had another 10 seconds. We are stacking some seconds there. Let's see how it goes. So there we go. The final scene, guys. This is where it all happens. What a life I'm living. I'll tell you, man. So here we go. Hang on. Let's get a quite a nice wide shot. So, as you can see, guys, we have the ham and cheese quite nicely cooked. And also, we've got the bread which has been toasted. So now I can officially call it toast. So, put it together. <laughs> Let's test it. Are you ready? That's a bit too sick. Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. A real gangster type player plays his cards right. A real gangster type player number. So there you go, everyone. We've made the ham and cheese toasty. It's fair to say it's a little bit too sick to be true. Make sure to try it out yourself. You need a microwave, some bread, a toaster, and some ham and cheese. So there you go, guys. Hope you liked. Leave a like. Subscribe if you're new around here. I'll be trying to make a weekly video. Don't quote me on that because I will get wrecked. See you guys.